Rise and shine, everybody. Hey there. It's time to get up and at them here on the farm. I'm up. And I'm Adam. Life here on the farm sure is good. One of the best things about farm living is eating all the food you grow right out of the ground. One of my favorites is mouth-watering watermelon. You want some? I grew it myself. <laughs> Delicious. Speaking of fruit, today we're talking about the fruit of the spirit. Uh, which one? Like pineapple? No, not that kind of fruit. The fruit of the Spirit is all the good things that God grows in our hearts as we follow Jesus every day. Like that song we used to sing. Yep. The fruit of the Spirit is not a coconut. Fruit of the Spirit is not a coconut. If you want to be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a banana. The fruit of the spirit is not a banana. If you wanna be a banana, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a lemon. The fruit of the spirit is not a lemon. If you wanna be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit is not a watermelon. If you wanna be a watermelon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Hmm. So good. The fruit of the spirit we're talking about today is joy! Joy is being happy because God loves me. It's not always easy to have joy. Like when the rooster crows at the crack of dawn, waking you up on your only day to sleep in. The worst. But we can learn a lot about having joy from a guy named David in the Bible. David had some good and not so good things going for him. One good thing is that he was next in line to be the king of God's people. You would think that the idea of being king would give David joy. One bad thing is that the current king named Saul wanted to kill David. Yeah, that's a bummer. There were a lot of things happening in David's life to cause him to lose his joy. Take this story, for example. David found out that God's people were being attacked by the Philistines. So he asked God for advice. And God told David to take his men and go fight the Philistines. They went and they fought, winning the battle. Sounds pretty good, huh? Well, Saul got word that David was fighting the Philistines. That became a pretty big problem. Saul had all of his men surround the city where David was in hopes of taking him captive. David found out that Saul was planning to attack him and he prayed to ask God for help. How was David able to have joy? The whole situation sounds pretty terrible to me. Well, David was able to escape the city and hide in the desert where he and his men were safe from Saul. It seems like David could have gotten mad at God and Saul but David chose to have joy because he knew God was with him. Later, he wrote a Psalm that said, I will celebrate and be joyful because you, Lord, have saved me. So you see, David didn't let his difficult situation affect his joy because his joy came from knowing God loved him. Now, you might not have a mean king chasing after you, but you will go through things in life that will make it hard to have joy. Take Up, for example. Let's see if Up loses joy when he goes through a difficult situation. How do you feel, Up? You see, Up didn't let those darts ruin his joy because his joy comes from God. Yep, the more I spend time reading God's word, the more I can see that God loves me and that's why I have joy. So the next time you're in a tough situation, just remember, joy is a fruit of the spirit. And joy is, is being, being happy, happy because, because God, God loves, loves me. me. Last time on the farm. <laughs> oh, this cannot be right. I'm your cousin, Bobby. Bobby Wright Hart. Now this is All Good Acres, and I'm your welcoming committee. Charlotte. My name is Charlotte. 
They'll think I was out here all day doing my chores. Won't be too hard to fool the country bumpkins. This can't get any worse. Oh. Love is patient and kind, <laughs> even to those who may be a bit challenging. Thanks for helping me today. Well, no problem. Showing love is what I was raised to do, CJ. I'm sorry, <laughs> Charlotte. Charlotte. It's okay. You can call me CJ. Well, all righty then. It's about time. <laughs> Today is gonna be hot diggity delightful. <laughs> Nothing like living on a farm. Well, better get a head start on my chores so I can enjoy the rest of my day. <laughs> Clean up the barn. Ooh -wee. This place is cattywampus. Better get working. <laughs> You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Some roll? I don't even know where to begin. First, the heat. It's like sleeping in a brick oven. <sighs> don't you feel that wonderful cool breeze? Do you mean the wisp of wind I felt once every two hours? Oh, ain't it the best? There ain't nothing like nights on a farm. I'll take your word for it. Mm -hmm. And what was that ear piercing sound this morning? Well, I'm sorry, CJ. I don't understand. What sound? Ah! Oh, that's Carl. Oh, of mm -hmm. course it's Carl. How could I not know it was Carl? <laughs> Who is Carl? Well, Carl is the family rooster. He is the best alarm clock in three counties. Wouldn't you rather wake up to the soothing sound of the ocean or a song? Well, he got you up and at him, didn't he? Yes, I guess he did. Hooray. That's a spirit. <laughs> How are you doing this? My chores? Easy. I got a broom. Bobby, I'm trying. I really am. I just don't see the world as wonderful as you. I'm not a farm girl. I'm a city girl. And I feel like I'm in a nightmare. Well, nightmare, huh? Big one. The worst. Super scary. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But I know what you need. A way out of here? <laughs> no, silly. You can't get started on chores unless you get your belly full of Aunt Luann's best breakfast. <laughs> I am hungry. And trust me, Aunt Luann's cooking fixes everything. <laughs> Come on, CJ. Can't make it any worse. Are you feeling better? Aunt Luann may be the best cook in the world, not just the county. Oh, her cooking can make a dog bark sideways. Say what? Well, you... You know what? Never mind. I get it. <laughs> well, now that your belly's nice and full, it's time we get to them chores. All right. I'm ready, I think. I think we're gonna start with something simple, okay? Now, Aunt Luann is gonna make her famous creamed corn tonight. Sounds delicious. Oh, it sure is. That means we gotta get the corn ready. That's not corn. That's like grass. Oh, CJ, you gotta shuck them. Shuck them? Oh, 
Oh, shucks. I can do that. Get it? Because I'm shucking corn. <laughs> Who am I becoming? That's funny, CJ. <laughs> We're going to make a rock good farmer out of you yet. Yay. Now don't you worry, okay? I'll be just over yonder fixing the tractor. Over yonder. I know where that is now. Like, far away. You're such a kidder, CJ. <laughs> All right, CJ. Let's get our farming on. Card got declined. <gasps> oh, it was just a dream. I'm still on the farm. I'm still on the farm. Oh, at least I got some work done. <laughs> Come on, CJ. The quicker you get farm living, the quicker you can go home. No, 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 no. It was just a dream. It's not real. I'm at home by the pool. All my friends are there. And I've never heard of all good acres. It's still there. What was that? Did the rooster get caught in the barbed wire again? No, that's CJ! Oh, CJ, I heard you scream. Are you okay? What happened? What? What is it? Jake! <laughs> Jake? Oh, you're afraid of Jake? It's oh. a snake! Oh, Jake's just a little garter snake. He ain't gonna hurt you. Oh, yeah, Jake, you good little snake. Hey, buddy. Bobby, I'm trying, but between Carl the Rooster and Jake the Snake and whatever other non-human friends you have, my nerves are shot. I need to take a break. Oh, okay. I'm seriously shook. I I'm sorry. Oh, Jake, what did I tell you about snaking up on guest? You gotta be more careful, bud. Here you go. <laughs> Woo! Boy! CJ looks like she's got a case of the hickety crickety. Oh, I should probably go check on her. Woo. Get on your feet. It's time to play catch the fruit, dodge the poop. As you see fruit flying, reach out and grab it. Be sure to dodge those pesky cow pies. Game over. Stay standing for a song.
Nod. Banjo strumming. Rooster crowing, dosey do. Pig feet, garden weeding. Tractor steering. Field clearing. Turning, churning, clapping, snapping, spinning, grinning. Hey, let's go! singing. You can all take a seat. Well, CJ, you back here? Well, CJ, I've been all over this doggone farm. And the farm ain't that big. Well, no, Uncle Earl. I haven't found CJ yet. Well, hot taters. I didn't even check the chicken coop. Well, hopefully she didn't go down there. Bobby, help me. Well, that don't sound too good. <laughs> Come on. It's okay. It is far from okay. It is so far from okay that it's only an O and not a K. It's gonna be fine. Does this look fine to you? Well, it looks like you've had quite a day on the farm. <laughs> shouldn't be this way. I really wanted to try, Bobby. I did, but from the very beginning, every animal has been against me. The animals aren't against you. Carl woke me up at the crack of dawn. That's Carl's job. Well, he's doing an incredible job. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get my mind off Jake and collect my thoughts. I saw a quiet spot, but I didn't know that it was the hen house. The next thing I know, I riled up all the chickens and they just kept flying at me. There were beaks, beaks everywhere. Well, you were in their house. Are you always this positive? Of course. You know, Uncle Earl always says, negative thinking only leads to negative living. You just gotta change your perspective. You know, even when things go wrong, they're not that bad. Easy for you to say. You're not a million miles away from your home, away from your friends, your family, air conditioning. Well, see, there's that word again. How do you condition air? That's not the point. I'm away from everything that I know and love, and I'm in a place that I don't understand at all. That's got to be tough. I'm sorry, CJ. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna do your chores for the rest of today. No, you don't have to do that. Well, I want to, you know? It's the loving thing to do. What have you got left? Um. All right. Feed Cooter. <laughs> I can do that. Are you sure? Absolutely. You go ahead and get used to the farm. I wanna finish that up for you. Thanks, Bobby. Yeah, no problem. You know, I know that you're gonna find some joy here. You're gonna love it. Yay. <laughs> Maybe I will like it here. Not at the moment. Is that you? I think it's nighttime all of a sudden. 
Oh, oh, that's better. For a second, I thought I blacked out or something. What oh. happened? Oh, well, Tudor got scared when I was feeding him. Oh. See? I told you these animals are trying to kill us. Oh, no, it happens. I think a bee flew in and, you know, Tudor, he got scared. He started stomping and he, uh, he stepped on my foot. <laughs> oh, I'm so oh. sorry. Oh. You know, then I tried to get my foot in. No pun intended. And well, that just seemed to make things worse than a dog losing his bone. <laughs> How are you laughing about this? Because <laughs> it's funny. You could have gotten hurt. Oh, this? This is nothing. You should have seen the day I fell into the pig pen. Ooh-wee, I was smelly for four Saturdays. Now that's funny. Yeah, I smelled like poo. Bobby. This makes no sense. How can you laugh when bad things happen? Well, because even though things can get bad, I can have joy knowing God loves me. You know, Uncle Earl, he always says, God's in everything, even the rainstorms. Clearly, Uncle Earl has never been trapped outside without an umbrella. Oh yeah, that happened just last week. <sighs> None of this makes sense. Not everything is gonna work out like you planned, CJ. But that doesn't mean God doesn't love you. I mean, it's like the farm. Farm living is tough. I'll agree with that. But look what I get to do every day. I mean, I get to talk to animals every day. I get to spend time with my aunt and my uncle. And I get to know cousins from across the way that I didn't expect to see again. All that good comes along with the bad. Maybe. Plus. I think I heard a little bit of laughter coming from you. You know, that's the first time you laughed since you got here. I'm sorry it was because of your fiasco. Don't be. Troubles are gonna come your way, but are you gonna let them get you down, or are you gonna be joyful? I have been a sad Sally since I got here. Didn't it feel good just to feel a little bit of joy? It did. <gasps> Snake! Oh. <laughs> It's just a stick. <laughs> It'll take a little bit, but I'm sure in time you'll be friends with all the critters. <laughs> Maybe not Jake. Oh. Sorry, Jake. No. Oh, Jake. You just give it some time. She's just learning about you. Oh, it's okay. I can have joy. What's up guys? To wrap up all the fun on the farm today, let's play fruit or fail. We'll see some pictures pop up on the screen and we'll have to decide if the person in them is showing the fruit of the spirit. If they are, we'll make a heart with our hands. But if they fail to show fruit, we'll make an X with our arms. It's time to check out the first one. David prayed and remembered how much God loves him. Even when Saul was trying to kill him, fruit, or fail. Make a heart with your hands for fruit or an X with your arms for fail. Fruit for sure. David's circumstances were hard, but joy grew in his heart when he remembered how much God loved him. Okay, it's time for another one. Bobby didn't let it ruin his day when the horse stepped on his foot, then he stepped in a cow pie. Fruit or fail? Choose your sign to give your answer. You got it, fruit. Bobby helps CJ see that God can help you have joy even when you go through hard things. It's time for our last picture. Darian pouts because he has to do his homework while his sister, who is sick, gets to watch a movie. Fruit or fail? Make your choice now. Fail. It's easy to feel frustrated when something doesn't seem fair but joy is being happy just by remembering how much God loves us. Great job playing our game. We've had so much fun on the farm today, but before you go, let's all bow our heads and pray. Hey God, thank you for loving us so much. Please grow joy in our hearts every time we remember that. You're the best and we love you, amen.